Hey, it's Dee. Welcome back and welcome to any new viewers. Today I wanted to do a video on how to create, you could do a junk journal, a glue book, an art journal, whatever you want, out of a composition notebook. You could get them in a the dollar store. You could get them when school season starts for sometimes like 87, 88 cents. And I had gotten a lot of feedback on my coffee calendar that I recycled and made it into a junk journal for my girlfriend. And I kind of wanted to show you how I came about doing that and other things and how simple it can be and how inexpensive it is. So the, the coffee journal that I did, the junk journal, was my first one that I ever really kind of experimented with using a composition notebook. And I don't know, to me, it, it's very organic. It's, it's just your typical, your... Um, composition notebook and you, you, there's nothing fancy about it there's no great thought process behind it all you have to do is just kind of go with what you feel and for me the coffee journal obviously was themed all on coffee which I knew I was going to give my girlfriend and I really liked it I really liked playing with different mediums in the journal so or the composition book I call it a journal and it got me to want to do go a little bit further and I created one which actually kind of turned out to be like a planner and again typical composition book and I started it in well I actually completed it but this one was in 2017 and I just started to do daily entries in it it's I kind of got more acclimated to what I liked using. I used crayons in it and markers and paint and acrylic paint and watercolor. And there's all different things. And it kind of just got my feet wet where I wanted to experiment. And that's what this book was all about. And trust me when I tell you, it's not even worth showing it to you because it's just, it's horrible. So let's just leave it at that. But it got me interested to doing more in, I'm more of an artist, so I I was leaning more towards doing things with paint and sketching and things of that nature, so I created my third book, which is, look how thick it is. This is your normal composition notebook, and as I just started creating and doing my process of whatever it was that I wanted to do or just, you know, kind of like, to me it's very free and mindless because there's really no rules. There's, you don't have to perfect anything. And I created this book where I cut this out of a magazine and then I stamped on here random thoughts and interests. Stamped journal and uh, used some stickers use some scrapbook paper. The spine held up really well. I was very, very impressed with that. I did not um, in any way alter it to make it sturdy. I just, I just kept going and it got that thick. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, what I'll show you here is now this is just, again, random things of whatever I'm in the mood for. And I was in the mood for doing some things with, um, this was a bag fr from avocados and I thought it was really cute. So I cut out part of the bag and then I glued it down here and then I drew some avocados and I watercolored them and put them on the side. And here's a sticker from an avocado. And this was an avocado I had cut and I thought it was like a perfect avocado, like the kind you see when they advertise and stuff. And I took a photo and put it there no rhyme or reason, just what I was in the mood for. I painted a watermelon over here, put some stickers on, and just, I was like in a food mood. So that's how that came about. But again, just random stuff. Um, over here, though, I did on Instagram, I joined a bunch of challenges. And I can't remember exactly. I think this one was vintage. This one might have been texture or winter or something, I can't remember. But what I did here, I cut out some magazine 
dolls. Um, I wrote vintage vibes and cut out some flowers and did some collaging. Again, nothing really the greatest, but it was just something that I saw when I had some extra little bits and pieces laying around and I signed up for the challenge and it was vintage and that's what I came up with. And this page here, this is cheesecloth and this is deli paper. And I had to create a winter scene. This is Tim Holtz's little uh, paper dolls. And this is one of those miniature ones. I punched out some circles from a, just like a watercolor paper, scrap piece of paper. And then I painted them with watercolor to kind of make it look like snow. And I just love how like the texture came out. I don't know if you can see that because it's kind of like white on white there. But it was just like a lot of fun and it was normally I don't know if I really would have done something like that but I really enjoyed it and I really enjoyed the texture and just creating something out of whatever I had which you know me I love my scraps I love creating things out of what I have and that's just what I came up with now this one here this is a Julie Nutting doll and I love Julie Nutting stamps she's a stamp and I stamped her, um, cut her out, colored her. I painted a background here. These seashells that go all the way around. I believe that's a Julie Nutting stamp. So I stamped around it. I painted some seaweed, did some bubbles. And it says, <clears throat> excuse me, she kept a secret record of her thoughts and of her dreams in the water, underwater. And she's holding a starfish. And I was just... In a mood to do something like that I, I love to play with these dolls you can do so much with them and that's what I came up with and here by Irma Bombeck I saw this quote and I just loved it it says when I stand before God at the end of my life I hope that I would not have a single bit of talent left and I could say I used everything you gave me and I drew some flowers and painted them I used some Posca pens um, black marker I believe it's uh, acrylic paint and I just love this quote and thought it would be really pretty with some flowers on it this page is all from scraps except the moon the moon I cut out from a magazine and these are all pieces of paper that I had and I cut them up or I had strips and I created a cityscape and then this these little stars over here I just punched out of a scrapbook piece of paper and then I highlighted everything with like a gold chalk if I could fly what would I see I would see beauty and I love anything with um, the night sky I love anything with cityscapes and that's how I came up with that one and that was a lot of fun because it was just using whatever I had um, this page here, this is when I started to really realize that me personally, I liked more of the art end of it. So I drew some mushrooms and um, doodled and came up with that. The butterflies are um, some digital images I had and then I cut them out and I put them on there. But this is where it started to become more, more like, um, like artsy for me. I drew a flower. This is all practice. Man in the moon, uh, a girl giving him a flower. And I used some scrapbook paper here. Over here I used washi tape. And I did journal topics, just different things I wrote on each washi tape. Here's another Julie Nutting doll. I just, again, I love them. They're so fun. This time I let the line paper from the book show through. Usually I cover it up, but I just let that kind of come through and I just use some paints or some inks and collaged a little bit. I drew some flowers and cut out some scrap paper made a dress for her drew a face on her colored her with some copic markers and i just came up with that page and you could journal here i haven't done anything but you know 
if there's something I need to add, I have a nice space to put that in. And that was a lot of fun. I really like that page. This page here, I started to um, work a lot with color palettes and these were little embellishments that I had and I wasn't really doing anything with them. So I thought that would be a good way to use them. Did some stamps. I did it, uh, well, I created some of it on um, written paper and music paper. Did some doodling. And this is one of my favorite pages. I have a postcard that I put in there. I just love how that came out. And then I did some black in it and distressed it a little bit. Over here, I did some watercolor. This was a stamp. And so I stamped it and I colored it. And then I fussy cut it and stuck it here. Did some stamping over here. And then um, I put life is short, make art, and fly free. So I thought that was pretty... Uh, pretty cute. And then over here, stay home and create art. This was when COVID hit. So this was in 2020. And I did a stencil here. And I just did a background like pink, gray and tan. And then I stamped it. I don't know if you can see that there's like, um, it's like an alphabet stamp, like a typewriter stamp in the back. And just created that because that was when everything was happening. And kind of inspired me to do something and on this page here's another Julie Nutting doll and this was a old magazine from like the I guess like the 50s or the 60s and I loved it because it was vintage and I loved this dress and I started thinking you know that's a closet and then I matched the color that I created her dress in to the color here and just kind of created it as a spring um, idea of, you know, just, I don't know, just here's flowers and it just reminded me of a spring day. And so I just matched up my colors, used some book paper, used the magazine image, and that's what I came up with. And I think she came out really cute. Drew a face on her. And uh, that was that page. Um, and then back here, this is the last page. It says, be kind to yourself. And I drew some funky flowers. And you can see, see how thick that is. And this is the back of it. And that's how thick my composition book became. And that was my third book that I created. And then... Because I enjoy that so much, I decided to do a fourth book. And this one I had gotten at the dollar store and had these funky cats on it. And some of them have glitter and they got the eyeglasses. And I just thought that was so funny. And I don't know if I'm going to cover it or not. Probably not because it's, it's cute. And focus on journaling. I found that in the magazine, so I cut it out and I just put that there for now. I haven't even really attached it, but for now I put it there because I thought that was a nice title. And... Um, I just do random things, things I have sitting on my desk. Um, I drew her. This is a cutout from a magazine. And also here, I stenciled Big City Dreams because she's got Big City Dreams. This here, the background, the wording, and the women. And the wording here is uh, Stencil Girl. And I drew some flowers. They're, they're a company that um, has stencils. And uh, I drew some flowers, and then these are stencils here, but what I did was I stenciled it and then fussy cut it and put them in there, and I did some sprays. And uh, that's what I came up with. I am love, believe, release, sing, and it was just fun to layer. That was a layering project for me that I wanted to experiment with. Same thing here, let's be mermaids and live under the sea. The mermaids and the fish and the background stenciled are uh, Stencil Girl. And then this is some washi tape. And then I just spritzed it a little bit with paint. I love anything with mermaids. And that's how I created that page. This was from an old calendar I had. And there was bits and pieces to it. And this is what was left. So I kind of made a flip. And she's a mermaid. 
and I kind of put that together with that. And then this here, I just had extra paint. I painted, uh, got it off my brush, made a little bit of a background. I'll go to that when I'm ready. Uh, just something there. It's a blank page for me. This is a magazine cutout. This was a sticker I had from a project that was like this sticker and these two stickers were like the last of the stickers and I wasn't going to use them so I said well I'll just stick them in my art journal and come up with something. This here and here were was another project I worked on and that was the remnants of it and then I left the page where when I painted it I could journal on the lines because like I said a lot of times I cover up the page but here I can actually go in and journal something. Haven't yet because I don't really know what I want to do. Uh, this is a stencil. These The, the Women uh, by Stencil Girl. And I colored it in, painted it in. And I have uh, Dream, Bliss, Free, Love, Beauty, Shine, Live, Soul, Flow, Purity, like inspirational type of words. I still have to do some stuff on the background here, but it's just something in the making right now. Use some book paper, and then I just layered a lot of paint. I'll probably do something with faces or, I don't know, something there. I don't. I have no idea because that's not done yet, but I did that page with um, a stencil. And then here, I was experimenting with color, and then I just drew flowers all over it. And I came across this saying by uh, Claude Monet, I must have flowers always and always. So I just kind of did that in black over it and stenciled, I must have. I used my stencils for the letters. And I thought that page came out pretty cute. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I still have all of this to go. And I had questions about how do I get my books um well, it was the, the coffee journal, how thick it got. And then obviously you can tell by this one how thick I got this one. And really all that I do, and I'll do this to show you right here. So each page, like you could, if you wanted to work on one page, but generally what I do is I take a glue stick and I just glue down two pages together. So I'll glue that with you and then I take my page and I just go from left to right, get any wrinkles out and now you have a thicker page. Also you can take scrapbook paper and adhere it and put um, something down, let's say, let's say you want it to put down paper like this, then I would just cut it and measure it and put it onto the page and go from there. I do a lot with collaging, so I will take book paper or scrapbook paper or whatever and just put it in there and or put it on there and glue it and then I'll start to paint over it. So it just depends what I see. I do a lot with color. I do a lot with theme and then sometimes it's mood like that one um, page with Monet's flowers, I was in the mood to do flowers. And that's what came out of, I really had like no plan. It's just how it came out. So it's interesting to see what you could come up with. And a lot of people like doing glue books and you can cut a lot of things out, put that in here, um, you know, do some creative drawing and sketching. I'm a doodler, so I really enjoy a lot of marker work and a lot a lot of markings and uh yeah so that that's basically how i created my coffee journal except i used a recycle calendar and this one is even thicker than that coffee journal and as you can see like i showed you it was it's just it's just building up it's just layers don't be afraid. Don't overthink it. Just have fun. It's There's a lot of freedom to it. It will ground you to where you're, well, I mean, I, at least for me, it's very relaxing because there are no rules. And you can start experimenting with color and mediums of different things. Like maybe you're an acrylic painter and not a watercolor painter. It just, 
it you'll find out and you're going to know what you navigate to but it's really fun it's really inexpensive anybody that has anything laying around that's something that can be adhered flat is perfect for these books and yeah i mean i just i wanted to show that to you and if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me i um really appreciate everyone watching and i hope you all are doing well so thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and if you're new please subscribe and i will talk to you guys later bye bye